Kinetic's Quake Lock Cable Restraint System provides seismic restraint for HVAC piping, ductwork, and mechanical equipment. The Quake Lock installation can be performed in a fraction of the time it takes other cable restraint systems on the market, saving you time and decreasing your labor costs. Kinetic's Quake Lock Cable Restraint System includes the Quake Lock Connector, used to quickly assemble the loose end of the cable to the attachment bracket. It is available in 1 8 3 16 and 1 quarter inch sizes. The KSUA bracket for attachment to structure and ductwork or suspended mechanical equipment. The KSCA bracket for attachment to clevis hung piping. Thimbles for use between the cable and attachment brackets. 15 feet of pre-cut cable with swage loop on one end. Kinetic staff of professional engineers will design and engineer the Quake Lock system to meet the requirements based on your project's specifications and applicable building code. Before beginning installation, install should determine Quake Lock size, orientation, and location using Kinetic's provided drawings. Kinetic's offers options for installation depending on project conditions. Drawings of approved methods are included with each submittal packet. Proper installation ensures that Quake Lock system will function as specified in the event of seismic activity. This video shows the proper installation of restraining clevis hung pipe. Attach the system to the structure by slipping the pre-swaged end of the cable through the KSUA attachment bracket. The KSUA is bolted to the steel structure with provided attachment bolts. See your submittal packet or contact Kinetics for additional structural attachment options. Attach the KSCA brackets to the threaded rod with the provided bolts, nuts, and lock washers. The bolts need to go through the holes on the flat part of the KSCA bracket in opposite directions and need to be tightened down. Place a cable thimble through the KSCA attachment bracket. Loop the cable through the attachment bracket and thimble, then feed back through the quake lock so the set screws compress the cable dead end. Bring the quake lock snug against the thimble and remove the slack from the cable. If isolated, the cable should be left slightly loose to prevent transfer of vibrations into the structure. Slightly loose can be defined as having approximately 1 8 to 1 quarter inch of visible sag in the cable. Finger tighten all set screws to hold the cable in place. Fully seat the set screws by using a tool to torque the set screws to the appropriate torque for the size of the cable. Start with the set screw closest to the loop and work out to the tail end of the cable. While this installation shows a common method of attachment using two KSCA brackets bolted together on a clevis hanger, the versatility of the Quake Lock system is the multiple attachment options using the KSUA or KSCA. Thank you for taking the time to view our Quake Lock installation video. For additional information, please visit our website at kineticsnoise.com forward slash Quake Lock.